here's the mill. Everything seems to be working on it real well. But here's the video I was talking about. So here's the track. All the way down. And the problem, Dad, this part's for you, is that this is the stop. And it, it, it goes up and down on its own. It's individual. Over here is the part that it, hey, you screw it down, as you know. Problem is that when you're trying to screw things down, that part just drops. So, what I've come up with is what we're going to do are these cross members right here. This is the beginning of them. They are not done by any stretch of the imagination. This first part. So, you got this bolt. Oops. You got a bolt. This washer will go on the outside. Then there's another bolt, or this washer will go on the outside. This washer here. And then to the back side of this washer, there's a nut. Then the washer, the whole washer is attached to this stock. It's like that on both sides. And then what we'll do is we'll drill a hole through the rails to attach it. Much like this one. This one right here, that's how this is attached. There's, a, there's the bolt right there. Um, then on top of this, there'll be these are just really small but they'll be at this end there'll be a piece welded on here that'll match up with this piece then there'll be another piece over here well, this piece and the other piece will be a lot taller but then this piece will have uh, metal welded to the sides here and it'll be attached probably with a bolt and then the whole thing will slide up and down this so that the stop on this end and this piece will always be opposite each other you won't have the problems that we had before this will slide in and then to this we're going to attach another one of these couplings and I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do that because um, it won't fit on the top like it did on this one at least not very easily so we'll put another one of these and make one of these handles that should be pretty easy so when you're done you'll have one there one there one there plus if you wanted to you have your really tall stop the other stop and the clamp. So you'll have three of the smaller ones and then the original plus the original set. With that you should be able to cut logs that are quite small, short, um, probably three feet. Give or take. Okay.